Hello, thank you for tuning in. Um, in this video, we're going to be in Jeremiah 8 whenever this may or may not upload. Um, we're seeing Jeremiah, a faucet of Jeremiah chapter 8 come to pass right now before our eyes. Now, these phenomenons that we have with, um, who is my dear friend Patty, uh, Mary Magdalene, um, what we see with Sean Marshall and all this kind of stuff, um, we find these phenomenons in the Bible, uh, do a topic search of a stork, okay? Psalm 104 um, is a really awesome psalm, but um, you can see this stuff in Psalm 104 very easily. But we are at the point of Jeremiah 8, 7. Ye, the stork in the heaven knows her appointed times, right? The stork brings the birth of these uh, human beings, of these integrated human beings and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming okay so the turtle is long suffering as the stars in the heaven um the you know flat earth the turtle represents flat earth as well um the crane represents the leap of the horses the manipulation of time of horses horses represent authority and the swallow observe the time of their coming with the angels so this stuff is coming to pass right now. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord. So we are living in a time of the resurrection of the dead, um, some to everlasting life, others to everlasting condemnation. And we see this in Jeremiah 8. We see this all over the place. If you come here to um, Fort Greene District in Brooklyn, I don't know, good luck. <clears throat> So Jeremiah 8, chapter 1, At that time, says the Lord, they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah, the bones of his princes, the bones of his priests, the bones of the prophets, and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves. So this is, so this is a reference to the resurrection of the dead to condemnation. So the resurrection of the wicked. And we, are, we do have a resurrection of the wicked upon us. And they shall spread them before the sun and the moon and all over the hosts of heaven whom they have loved and whom they have served and after whom they have walked and whom they have sought and whom they have worshiped they shall not be gathered excuse me they shall not be gathered nor be buried they shall be for dung upon the face of the earth very sad and death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family which remain in all the places where i have driven them says the lord of hosts Moreover, you shall say unto them, Thus says the Lord, Shall they fall and not arise? Shall he turn away and not return? So this evil family that we're talking of um, is meant to repent, but they're not repenting. They've even risen from the dead. Their higher selves are walking around, and they're still in utter rebellion. Why then is this people of Jerusalem slidden back by perpetual backsliding? They hold fast deceit. They refuse to return. I hearkened and heard, but they spoke not aright. No man repented from his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Every one turned to his course as the, hearse, as the horse rushes into the battle. And behold, we have Jeremiah 8, 7. Ye, the stork in the heaven, knows her appointed times, and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord, because God's people are still in ignorant rebellion. It is time to repent. It is time to repent. Anything else will not stand. 